In addition to manually adding circuits, the Power Analyzer tool has the ability to automatically recognize and add power circuits, sources, and loads, thereby significantly reducing the time it takes to recreate a power structure. Before you start auto recognition, you must first configure the algorithm's parameters to suit your project. These parameters can be found in the Auto Define settings section of the Configuration section of the Power Analyzer main window. The Items to Define section includes the objects by which the power circuits will be recognized. The Name Mass field is used to specify a mass for reading the voltage value from the specified power circuit names. You can enter your own mass in this field, taking into account the circuit names in your projects. Using X letter as the intended numerical value, and V letter as a separator. The Component Parameters section includes a set of parameters by which the components in the power circuits will be defined. The Resistor, Capacitor, and Inductors designators fields are used to identify passive components. The Custom Series designators field is used to additionally specify series components depending on your project. The Default Connectors designators field is used to specify connector designators that can be used as power supplies or loads depending on the specifics of your project. To enter your own value, use a semicolon symbol to separate each designator, and the asterisk symbol to create a mask. The VRM Keywords field is used to enter keywords that are contained in the component description and by which a component of the voltage regulator type can be recognized. All components that do not fall under the criteria of this section will be treated as normal loads. In addition, it is recommended to use separate techniques within the schematic editor to improve the quality of the algorithm and to reduce the amount of manual work. One of these tricks is to place name parameters inside the components, which determine the type of component in the power system. These parameters can be specified as part of the component when creating it or added later in the schematic. The component type parameter is used to define power supplies and regulators with a value that defines the type of component. You can specify the following values for this parameter. The source value defines the power source among all components. To specify the regulator, set a VRM value for a normal linear regulator, SMPS value for a switch mode power supply, or sense value to specify a regulator with a separate sense line. Note that the VRM component should be connected to at least two power circuits. A separate parameter, current consumption, is used to specify the loads, the value of which determines the consumption of the given chip in amperes. Pay attention to the separator character. It must be a dot or a comma, depending on the system settings. Make sure that you set all the labels used for the series components in the configuration section. When designing, it is also recommended to define power circuits with power port objects and define their names according to the mask that was specified in the configuration section. That gives the ability to automatically read the voltage value from this name. However, if necessary, you can specify the value for a circuit manually using the parameter set directive. After placing it, select the necessary wire, activate the PowerNet checkbox in the Properties panel, and specify the voltage of this circuit. When the parameters and directives are placed, it is recommended to synchronize the schematic with the board. After completing synchronization, return to the Power Analyzer tab and click Define automatically to run the algorithm. After that, the system will try and build the power tree based on the specific settings and parameters. Once the algorithm is complete, all recognized circuits with sources, regulators, and loads will be added to the document. All net extensions with series components will also be added so the power structure will include all the appropriate nets and loads. If any of them have been recognized erroneously, or not needed in the simulation, you can easily remove them by clicking on the appropriate icon. After deleting unnecessary circuits and entering missing data, your power system is completely ready for simulation. Additionally, you can check if the recognition is correct by using the Show and Tree button, which not only displays a complete power structure, but also shows the position of the selected circuit and the whole power delivery system with a color highlighting.